Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well. So I'm just heading up now to what we call the top field. There's a bit of a tree bow that's come down across the margin, so I've got the chainsaw loaded up. I'm gonna go get that cut up and moved out the way as a bit later on this morning, I wanna make a start topping the field margins, sort of, you know, tidying up the, uh, the field edges a little bit. So I'll take these logs down to the woodshed and then I'll probably come back with the loader and the bucket to get this brash here and then I can tip that into the trailer so that's then ready to tip off for a fire. So this is all the stuff that we cut and processed last year. Um, this is sort of about three or four years worth of stuff, you know, that we just, you know, fallen trees and stuff like that. And yeah, we process all this in the winter. Um, and yeah, it's a nice bit there. I think that'll see us through for a, uh, well, at least this winter, probably, probably next winter as well. So I couldn't fit it all in one load, that's annoying. Gotta come back, I'll tip this off and come back. It's also trying to rain a, a little bit as well, so that might stop me topping, but it'll probably only be a little bit. Typical. Bloody raining now. <laughs> That's uh, probably put a stop to uh, any topping this morning. I just wanted to do a couple of swaths along this margin, around this field and the one over the way up there. Um, if it's not too much, it might go this afternoon. So I'll probably, um, another job that he's doing is sweeping up the grain store. Um, in preparation for harvest, which I was going to make a start on this afternoon, so I'll probably do that soon, seeing as it's raining. And then hopefully, if it doesn't come too much, I'll do a bit of topping this afternoon. Gloves. Going to tip them off in the trailer.
the shed's pretty much empty on this side. It's just a combine bed in there. I'm going to um, hook that up and pull that out. See, I get this shifted and then I can sweep up in here. I've actually got a sweep X, which is a big brush that goes on the front of the loader. Um, real, real time saver. Um, means I don't have to brush my hand either, so <laughs> win win. a very handy bit of kit you do have to go around the edges you know around the wall a little bit with a normal normal brush but I mean you can just sweep a large area with this fairly quickly so it really does save time Right, let's go topping. Alright, so it didn't actually turn out to be much rain, so I'll go and sort of tidy up these margins a little bit, I think. So yeah, got the uh, new spearhead out again. Uh, well, giving it a little bit of a test with some thicker stuff. It's munching through with all right, 1000 RPM. So, like I said in um, the video where I showed you guys the new topper, it's um, a big improvement over our old 540 RPM topper, the perfect topper. Yeah, it's munching through it well. Obviously, I've got my forward speed down a fair bit as well, but having that extra power. Leaving it, leaving it quite well by the looks of it. So I'm only doing the one swath, you know, the one width 
around um, against the field edge. So I'm still leaving a fair bit of cover for wildlife up against the hedge. The, uh, the bit where I was earlier, clearing up that tree bough, I might need two swaths there because it's a bit wider there. But obviously I want to leave plenty of cover for the wildlife, but I do just want to sort of tidy up the field edge as well. I want to get the gator out, but dad's left his monster of a tractor in the way. <laughs> That's hilarious. I wasn't actually planning on moving the sheep till tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I came up with the gator, they thought it was time to move. <laughs> They're soon gonna be weaned off. Um, I'll wean the lambs off next week, I think. Um, get the ewes shifted onto some fresh grass. I'll leave the lambs down on these two fields for a couple of weeks and then they can go out to some fresher grass. Um, oh. I've got some buckets I need to pick up and uh, shift over to that paddock. Got our man Brian, did a bit of hedge trimming. We don't have a hedge trimmer, so we have to get someone in to do it. We used to have an old Bomford hedge trimmer, but it was knackered. I did a fair, fair bit of work on that up until a few years ago when it was just sort of, it was past the point of, you know, worth keeping it. It had massive hydraulic issues, so since then we've just, um, We've had a chap who's retired, he used to work on a neighbouring farm, he does the head swimming now. Come on then. Let's have a little walk there. 
So yeah, I'm pleased with how the lambs are looking. Like I said, I'm gonna get them weaned off next week, or well, within a, a week or so. Um, yeah, and then that gives the ewes a chance to go into some fresh grass and have a break for a while. Um, where are we now, July? Things I tucked the ewes a month later than I normally do last year. I put the tup in in November for April lambing, whereas previous years I normally put the the tups in sort of beginning of October for March lambing. But I'll probably do the same again this year and go slightly later and go April time. Obviously that sort of coincided with all the spring drilling this this time round, as we didn't get much drilled up in the autumn. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get all the groundwork done um, this autumn, which means probably won't be so rushed in the spring to sort of keep up with everything. It was sort of a bit of a mad, mad dash. Um, this spring just gone, with all the lambs coming at the same time as all the drilling and all the field work. I haven't got anything. Why are you following me? So yeah, gonna get rather busy soon with harvest coming up. Um, obviously it'll be a little bit later seeing as we're all spring crops here. It'll probably sort of be, well looking at, looking at the crops sort of mid to late August perhaps before we um, sort of get into it. But um, over at farm two, um, which is all set aside this year, uh, we had a lot of drainage work done um, last year so obviously what we do here at home uh, we do a lot of direct drilling um, but over at farm two I'm going to do a bit of groundwork a bit of cultivation sort of give it a bit of a birthday so I'll sort of be quite busy sort of at the beginning of August with a bit of land prep and then going into harvest and then going into the autumn with all this uh, drilling work so yeah it's going to uh, it's going to get busy soon Bear, we're gonna get in now, boy. Take your lead off. Good boy, you get back in there. So yeah, it's gonna get, get fairly busy, fairly quickly, but uh, that's no bad thing. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.